We like science and how we can do so many things with it. So when Mr. Kartik told us about the competition, which challenges us to use science concepts to solve real-world problems, we were mind blown. We needed to imagine how cities of the future might be powered and the possible problems Singapore would face in 2050. I think global warming will be a very big issue. Yep, I agree. There has been an excessive use of air conditioners, which leads to more fossil fuels being burned for air conditioning. Have you heard about the eco coolers? No. no. Okay, let me show you. We were very fascinated at how science concepts and simple engineering can solve real-world problems and we started to research more about eco-coolers. And we managed to make our first prototype after many rounds of discussion and research. But it still wasn't functioning well. Yeah, it's a little bit, but yeah, it's supposed to be cool. Yeah, maybe the cup ball was a bit not steady. Our mentor Ashwell gave us very good advice on how we could improve our prototype and presentation, giving us a realistic view of our idea and we were very inspired after the session. When I first met them, they had the concept uh, very well defined already, so I was just there to really help them fine-tune a lot. I understand today they are experiencing a little bit uh, of challenges in building their prototype, but hopefully today we can see how we can uh, get that out of the way and uh, make it work for them. Science Centre invited us for a workshop on design fabrication and we discussed with our assigned mentor how we could improve our prototype further. Make the Future is just a few days away. Although we are a bit nervous, we are very excited to present what we have come up with. Honestly, when we first submitted our proposal, we were not confident of qualifying. When we found out that we were one of the top 10 finalists in the Bright Ideas Challenge, we were very surprised and thrilled. Through this project, we learned about teamwork and perseverance in the face of challenges. We learned to be confident in interacting with new people and also to be open-minded to learn about new things. The best is yet to be, so I encourage you to continue your journey. Believe in yourself, believe in the power of strength, I am confident that you will ultimately find a job that you love deep inside, that is meaningful, and that you will actively contribute to make the world a better place. Uh, it's a privilege that we are exposed to such big things at a young age, and I will definitely come to take part again next year. Yeah. Thank you, Shell and Science Centre. We sincerely thank Mr. Daryl Lim from Shell and Miss Lowe from Science Centre for their advice and support. We also would like to thank our teachers, friends and families who have encouraged us through this journey. Bye -bye.